Hey YouTube, it's France Lee. How are you guys doing? So this is supposed to be a freaking awesome post because today is my six month surge anniversary and I feel great. Um, I feel like I'm doing great. I weigh 198 pounds, which is only 0.4 from last week, but that's okay because I have my pair red. And you know when you have your pair red, that's what happens. So I'm okay with that. But um, I wish I would have done part of a video so you could have seen me this morning. I was all ready to go and I was all happy and excited. And here I am at the end of the day and it's been pretty shitty. It's been a pretty shitty day. Um, don't you hate when you're doing fine and you think that everything's fine and then unbeknownst to you, things are shit or something is shit or it, and it just completely oh, screws you up. Um, I know that I worry way too much and that's part of it, but it's like, what the hell, you know? And to have to face it and to have to deal with it, it's exhausting, it's annoying, but you have to do it, you know? And this is when life is hard and this is when I want to eat and this is when I want to say fuck it and go through the McDonald's drive-thru because I don't have any coping skills and eating McDoubles is how I've always coped so I can't do that and I've been literally like behaving all day and I I don't know it's just not helping um so it's just life and having kids and having a blended family it gets hard um you know, being a mom is hard enough. Um, making sure you're a good mom and reflecting on being a mom makes the job harder. And then, you know, you add more layers to that. And kids will never understand until they're in that position. And if they're in that, never in that position, they'll never understand. So it's just one of those days where I feel like I can't win, no matter how hard I try. But enough boohooing. Um, I feel better. I feel like I needed to get that off my chest, so thanks. Um, I don't want to get emotional again because this has nothing to do with food, but this is real life. So I'll be back in a minute, guys. Thanks. So I'm back, which I know probably looks really weird, not wearing the same thing, have glasses on this time. I actually couldn't finish making the video on Friday. I got super upset. And then I was still upset when I got home. Um, we tried to have a fun weekend, but I'm still feeling pretty somber. It's been a tough few days. I am a stepmom. I am a young grandmother. I'm a wife. I have a 10 year old. I have adult, we have adult children living in the house and, and there's my husband. And thankfully my husband and I are rock solid because the last time there was some turmoil in the house, um, we weren't so solid and had to kind of regroup and get back to the basics. So not gonna get into it too much because I'm not gonna put my family on blast. This is supposed to be about weight loss and this is supposed to be my journey through my bariatric surgery. But I think it's important because I think that I've always used food to cope and the fact that I almost I feel like I can't or I choose not to which is a good thing not to use food to cope has made it like I don't know if it's making how I feel different or it's making how I feel harder I don't feel stronger um, for it and that's because even after eating at Outback last night for dinner I we left and I almost said it out loud, but then I was too embarrassed to say it out loud, but I was full, but I wasn't satisfied. And at that moment, I realized that that was all mental right there. The fact that I was full, but I was not satisfied tells me and whoever's listening that that's what's going on up here. That's all mental. Um, I, I'm sad and 
I don't know how to fix things. I'm a perfectionist. I'm a fixer. I want everybody to be happy all the time. Um, I'm a critic. I am hard on my family. I'm hard on myself. And, you know, I wear the bad cop in the house. I'm the bitch. I'm the witch. Um, and so when all those things get too heavy, food was my go-to. And... I can't go to it so I have to find other ways to cope um, I said I wasn't gonna get upset so um, I'm trying I'm coping I yesterday when I went to Outback um, I thought I was gonna be able to talk about it but it's funny because I wasn't able to talk about what's happening and I wasn't able to talk about my feelings and I'm the first one to talk about stuff and how I'm feeling and um, let's see I had I think I had about five or six blooming onion pieces I had maybe a quarter of the loaf of bread after you add up the pieces that I had um, I had half of my salad or a third of my salad gave the croutons to my granddaughter um, they got macaroni and cheese so I took three or four noodles of that. I probably had 10 French fries. And this is through, you know, in the course of an hour and a half. Um, not all at once. Just like picking. And then when my food came, I got a six ounce sirloin. I ate half of it. And then I had, um, I had half of the sirloin and it was sirloin and shrimp. So I think I ate three pieces of shrimp and then another three so I think I had six total I had a bite of my 10 year old's burger I had a bite of my husband's ribeye um, probably had a couple more french fries so I was full I mean I had had eaten I had eaten well um, I don't consider it overindulging if I can count it off to you or say what I think I had and I wasn't full to feeling sick, but I was full. But again, even after all that food I just mentioned, I wasn't satisfied. Like I left and I was like, I could eat again. But I didn't. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I did eat again. The, um, the waiter brought us a fresh loaf of bread to take home. And probably an hour or so after we got home, I probably ate a fourth of it. Yeah, that's probably right. Um, had a couple crackers after two. Bread is my go-to. I love some bread. I love some crackers. I love some carbs. You guys know I have Triscuits all the time. So, anyway, it just, even making this video right now, like, in my, as I'm talking, in my head, I'm like, what am I doing? Like, I just feel shitty. I just feel like shit. Um... I'm trying to get my mind off of everything. I have things to focus on. I'm actually on my way to return a pair of jeans that I bought at Ross that are way too big. They were actually size 17 in the juniors department. Too big, they don't fit me right, so I'm going to return those. And then um, I bought some white jeans at Target and they're high-waisted and they were size 16. And because they're high-waisted, they fit awful. So, um, and then they were $30. Like, I'm not, mm -mm, girl, I'm losing weight. No, I am not going to spend that much money. So, I'm going to return those items and hopefully the retail therapy will help me. I need to find a bra that fits right because God knows this bra has so much room in it. It's ridiculous. It's sad. Um, oh, my hair. Um, if you've watched the videos, you can tell my hair has gotten thinner and thinner and thinner since surgery. Um, this is all of my hair from everything that's left from the back if I pull it forward um, I'm scared to cut it my daughter works with someone who had surgery and she said not to cut it that it does something and you lose it faster I don't know how much truth there is to that but I'm scared so I'm not gonna cut it I'm just gonna let it take its course but today when I took a shower I wa I think I've mentioned it before I wash my hair once a week and when I washed it today, um, <laughs> as I was pulling out the knot and went like this, I, I literally felt like I lost half of 
all my hair on my head. So I immediately called my hub, husband upstairs and put my head upside down for him to check it. And I said, just, are there any bald spots? And he said, no, but it's thin. It's a lot thinner, but there are no actual like spots that are bald. So I guess that's better than I thought. So that has me kind of freaking out. And then, um, I haven't bought the biotin and I haven't taken any or I haven't I have it at home but I haven't taken any for a couple of reasons first of all um, sometimes financially I'm not gonna be able to get biotin all the time and I don't know if that if it works like if I'm supposed to take it regular like if I can't skip a day or for it to have results you can't miss a day so if I can't if I can't buy any for some reason um, what am I gonna do you know is it all wasted and then same thing with the shampoo you know um i buy i can't because we have curly hair in my house i don't buy over-the-counter shampoo so i get whatever's on sale at marshall's and that's because curly hair is very fragile so you don't want to get the counter stuff so it's crap so you know sometimes they have shampoos with stuff in them with like biotin in them or nioxin or something like that and sometimes they don't and again you know, if I can use it once and then can't keep using it, it's not going to do anything anyway. And then I do have the biotin at home, but my 22 year old has been taking them because her hair is so thin from over processing and she can't afford to get more. So I'm just like, whatever she can have them, she can take them. So because for all those reasons, I just pray and you know, ask and pray that you know God has blessed me so much in this journey already um can we continue the blessing and can my hair start growing back please so just have to have faith um it's crazy but at the same time right now with everything that's going on in my life with the kids and work and you know consider me considering my job and Stuff like that is hair a top priority I don't know so that's something else that's interesting and as this video continues I'm like God, this is so depressing so I think that I'm gonna end it on that note um, I hope you guys have a great week I hope I feel better if you want to email me and ask me any questions I'm going to include my email address in the description down below but it is my sleeve 040617 at gmail.com. So if you have any questions for me, I'll answer them, you know, um, in the different videos. And I will see you later. Have a great weekend and a great week. Bye.